Hey guys, this is New Antarctica with another video. Today I'm out here at the gun range. We have a little beautiful sunset going on right here. Oh, oh gosh, that was a little disgusting. Um, anyway, let's just skip right through that. I have a, I just got ACL surgery, so that's why I look like a cripple right now, but I will be fine. Um, today, we're not focusing on me as much as we are focusing on this. This is the Rock Island FSA1 chambered in 9mm. Um, I got this for Christmas. It is in the matte black configuration. Um, it holds 10 rounds. I think this is a 5 inch barrel. A uh, full length guide rod, which I heard doesn't make much of a difference according to Hickok, but that's besides the point. It's got, I think these are plastic rubber, no these are rubber grips. Alright, so that's, that's good. Um, and yeah, it's, I think it's got like a six pound trigger. So ambidextrous safety, no, the, the sights are, are not the best, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, and then the beaver tail grip safety. So let's, uh, let's shoot this thing. We are, today we are shooting Federal nine millimeter Luger. I'm gonna shoot a burst of three um, at this berm. We're down in West Virginia, so we have good laws pertaining to that. Um, it's a single stacked, I believe, 10 round magazine. As you can see, I'm loading it. These are, I think I already said 124 grain. I think they have a velocity of 11, 1150 coming straight out of the, uh, out of the muzzle. So let's get this thing loaded up. Let me put on some ear protection. My cameraman is going to put on ear protection right now. So you can pause the video while he's doing that. All right. So we're back. Cameraman John John has his ear pro on, as you can see. Uh, we have a fully cleared gun right now. I'm gonna lock back the slide. Getting getting used to this because I've never had a 1911 before. This is my first 1911. Hoping I can carry this one day because I honestly think it's a, a good carry gun. Uh, magazine in the chamber. I'm gonna shoot at this uh, at this target. But John, you can film me for the first two, and then for the last round, you can film the target. All right, here we're going. We're going hot. Right, you filming, John? One more round. I hit it before, so. Anyway, um, take the ear protection off. Overall, this is a really good purchase. I did not purchase it. My my father, uh, well, Santa Claus gave it to me for Christmas, but uh, we're gonna say that uh, that it was my father. Um, he said that this ran about. Uh, $500 and that's $100 below MSRP which is pretty good um this is my first 1911 so I don't really have much to compare it to but in terms of recoil versus the 357 that I shot in a previous video I would say that it's 75% of the recoil that the 357 had I would akin I would say it's close to a 38 special um don't mind my flinch because I am learning how to use this gun a little nervous right now uh also, I have an injury, so I'm in the sitting position. I don't get all the, the weight into my shot. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I would definitely recommend the Rock Island Armory FSA-1. 45 or 9 millimeter, doesn't matter. I think Rock Island, they're cheap, but I think they're well-made. So, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.